bring you up from the squalor that you're living in, the gutter and the garbage that your lives are. And Andy Kaufman, it's been a long time coming. But, you know, if you're going to have a celebrity go in, how about a celebrity who who really appreciated professional wrestling and got in the ring a little bit himself? Andy Kaufman, do you remember um, at all Andy Kaufman's whole, you know, intergender wrestling championship gimmick and even his his fantastic feud with yes. with Jerry Lawler? That's been, really this was the first thing. Um, in the 70s and 80s and kind of the revival of wrestling where wrestling spilled over into pop culture. This was pre Cindy Lauper and, and uh, Captain Lou Albano and the rock and wrestling thing that the WWE did with Hulk Hogan in the in the mid 80s. He was so believable. I mean, he was, his, yeah. promos, his promos were, were yes. amazing, especially for the time. They're, mm -hmm. I mean, they're, still, they're almost like timeless. Yes. Um, so his like little single... Not promos necessarily in front of other people, but his little vignettes when mm -hmm. he's like uh, talking about women and like this is a mop, and then talking yes. about people in the south, and he's like, "This is a bar of soap." Soap. Say soap. S O A P. Soap. Not soap. Not soap. It's soap. Okay. You use <laughs> yes. it here. You use it here, and he's like explaining them how to clean themselves and like stuff <laughs> like that. It was just like, wow, that is. That's really mean and hilarious. So it's absolutely classic. Uh, they, he he and Jerry Lawler go on Letterman at some point after Letterman had, uh, after Lawler had pile drived Andy Kaufman and like at some point they're on Letterman and they're having this thing and 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 Kaufman starts getting under Lawler's skin and Lawler stands up and finally just clocks him and they do this thing where like. Andy Kaufman comes back out in a neck brace saying he's going to sue everybody. I'm going to sue you. And he's furious. And, you know, you look at, at Letterman and maybe even the crowd's reaction and they don't know what's going on. They don't know if this is a work or, you know, in our terminology now, they don't know if it's a work or a shoot. Yeah. Like into uh, like the Will Smith, Chris Rock slap where it's so awkward and it felt really real. And you're like, what's going on? Yes. Like, and everybody is just like confused. It was. Exactly oh, but this was better. I was, yeah, it's just, in, in fact, not only was it better, but when when uh, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock and all this stuff was going on social media, I said, you know, my reaction to it was, folks, Andy Kaufman and Jerry Lawler already did this 40 years ago and they did it better. <laughs> Go watch it. Go watch it. And eventually Andy Kaufman, he's having a feud with somebody else. And I forget that he he needs a tag team partner and he. He convinces Jerry Lawler. He pleads with him, please be my tag team partner. Mm -hmm. And Lawler says, all right, I'll do it. You know, because Andy Kaufman was getting bullied relentlessly. And so Lawler tags with him. And in the match, Andy Kaufman turns on Jerry Lawler and everybody just like starts getting beaten up on Lawler. And it's, it was just a wonderful year long program. And it, it encompassed so many good things about promos and in-ring work and psychology and building a storyline and building a match. The way Kaufman was building himself up was he was beating up on women, which yes. is like such a disgraceful thing to do, which makes you dislike him more, but then he's going over still because he's beating the women up. So, yes. uh, you know, he's, he's going out there and instead of wrestling jobbers and, trying to appear strong he's just he's just pounding on women you know so yes. uh the intergender championship that was his belt yeah so that people didn't know what was a work and she really didn't know we yes. all pretty much worked over it so that late night show incident really felt real and mm -hmm. there was such a realism to it and kudos to lawler when he slapped him and he started yes. pointing and screaming like I mean, he's been pro wrestling for years at that point, so he knew the drill. But it was yeah. very convincing and like, oh, yeah, yes. he really wants to get his hands on this guy, huh? Oh, Lawler was gold, too. I mean, nobody becomes a star in pro wrestling on their own. You need somebody to work with. And Lawler was fantastic. Lawler was the perfect foil for Andy Kaufman. Yeah. You know, not, not that Lawler was the heel at all, but yeah, perfect. Well, I'll tell you what. Um Want to give a shout out to Blue Francis, who's asking us to talk a little bit about Andy Kaufman, and I think it's a good idea. So, sure, um, sure. Thank I, you, Blue. 
Yeah, thanks, Blue. And, you know, I, I see a short video about Andy Kaufman in the future. So uh, it's a good idea. Um, so thanks for that, Blue. 